This is the animation that you are going to make. Because they are so monastically focused on their goals, battling fatiguing diets and suffering through intense training regimes. So of course the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to generate the images. I used Leonardo AI to generate the images. As you can see, I've got a lot of results, but this one works for me. And also we used Adobe Firefly to separate the guy from the background. Now let's jump straight to After Effects. So now here we have the guy separated from the background. Now we can do the work. Let's finally start the animation the best part and for now just ignore the adobe firefly logo or we can hide this you doing duplicating the guy photo and uh, deleting the mask like this and then we create another mask here like this now it's gone now let's pre-compose the guy and the layer of the watermark Nice, we have it here nice and clean, no watermark, nothing. So now we're going to create the line. So we're going to bring the pen tool, put a point here. And now, before we uh, create the other point, we have to click on shift. So we can create a perfectly horizontal line. Now we're going to align it where it's in the middle. Let's decrease the stroke. Let's decrease the stroke, put it around like here. Change the color to blue. This one is perfect. Nice. Now let's add the trim path to animate the line. Let's put, put two keyframes in the start and the end. Put them both in 50%. Now let's move a little bit forward. Let's now make the start 0% and the end 100%. Now, as you can see, the animation is not smooth and it's pretty slow. So let's put these keyframes here. So select them, click on F9. Maybe you can play a little bit with the speed graph. Not smooth enough. Nice, much better. Now let's create the circle. Let's bring the ellipse tool. Click on shift to create a perfect circle like this. We going to animate the circle. We are going to do to do the same process. We're going to add the drain path like this. Where is it? But now we won't do the fifty percent thing. We we will just go from zero percent to a hundred percent. So now it's we are going to put a keyframe a hundred percent here. And we are going to create another keyframe, 0%. Now as you can see, it's animated. Now we're going to do the same process. We're going to play with the graph to make it smoother. Here we go. Let's make it faster a little bit. Nice. Now we're just going to duplicate the circle. We don't need to recreate it so many times. It's going to waste our time. So let's just duplicate it. Put this other one in uh, perfectly in the middle. And the other one, let's put it around here. Nice. Maybe we're, we need to decrease the scale a little. Make it smaller. Now it's perfect. Now let's create our text. And before that, we have to adjust our keyframes a little bit. So the circles, the animation of the circles appears one after one and not in the same time. Now let's create the text. Decrease the scale. I 
everything it's good like this let's change the fonts i'm going to use the hardware fonts it's similar to the fonts that iman Gadzi uses maybe make it thinner a little bit semi bold nice much better put it here nice we're going to animate it later so let's duplicate it twice this one will be here Now if you noticed, the picture that Iman Gazi used, there is like a lot of blue colors and blue lights in the picture, so to achieve that look, we're going to add tint effect to the background, so we're going to add tint, for the black we are going to replace it with very dark blue, and I mean, when I mean very dark, it's gotta be very dark around here and now uh, we're going to replace the white with the blue like this maybe you can de uh, decrease the amount of tint to make it blend with the original you see perfect now we're just going to copy it and paste it in the guy let's decrease the amount a lot nice now let's continue animating the text so we are going to add an effect called to the text called blur and fade in but it's not exactly the effect that Iman Gadzi used in his video but it's a very nice effect that Iman Gadzi used in his other videos let's adjust the keyframes Select the keyframes, click on F9 to make it smoother. Let's see. Make it a little bit slower. Maybe like this. Very nice. Now let's add the same effects to the other to the other layers. Blur and fade in. Blur and fade in. Click on you to show all of the keyframes from the keyboard. So we're going to do the same. We are going to make it a little bit faster. F9 to make it smoother. Adjust them. Make them start right when the animation of the circle happen. Now we are going to add a deep glow to the text and to the shapes. So let's start with the, the line in the middle, this one. Let's add a deep glow. If you don't have the deep glow, if you don't have the money to purchase it, you can just add a regular glow and what you're going to do, you're going to duplicate it. Maybe your PC will be slower a little bit, but you are, uh, in the end, you're going to achieve a similar effect. So let's add our deep glow. Decrease the radius to around 120. Decrease the exposure to around 0.4 or 0.35 let's you can keep trying until you achieve perfect look now i think it looks good now let's copy the effects and paste it into the other circles very nice very very nice now for the text we are we are going also to add deep glow but we are going to decrease the radius and the exposure let's make it around 0. Point and the, expo the radius around 90 or maybe 100 now oh, that's good let's do it. let's copy the deep glow and paste it in the other text layers after now after we finish the animation the animation of the text and the shapes now we are going to animate the guy using the pin tool so let's hide these shapes and the text to make the render faster let's let's select the pin tool this one here we are going to add as many pins as possible uh, here in the back to make it to hold it and not allow it to move so we're going to add one here one here on the middle in the shoulders and in the neck now we are going to add one in the head and the one in the head is the one that you are going to animate so let's select it move ahead a little 
to move it like this. And now move ahead again. Now let's move ahead and move it like this. Let's check it out. Very slow. Let's make it faster. Now, after I think now the speed is good. Now we have we are going to play with the speed graph. So first click on F9 to make to ease the movement, or we can just click right on the mouse, keyframe assistance, easy ease. Now we're going to select these three keyframes, go to the speed graph, like this. So basically it's going to start very slow, then it's going to speed up, and then it's gonna slow 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 down again. So the movement will be very smooth. And now what we're going to do is going to click on Alt and click on this icon right here, and then you are going to write an expression. We are going to write loop out, and then we are going to write here ping pong. And you will see why now if we click on space a soldier is gonna happen so because of this expression the movement won't stop even after the keyframes so we are going to move our keyframes here to the very beginning because before the keyframes the movement won't happen because this is loop out if we, if we want the animation to happen before the keyframes we have to use another expression loop in so memorize that, it's a very useful expression to use in your projects. Now after we finish the animation, we are going to play with the colors and we are going to add lights and rain because in Iman video it was raining and uh, there was a lot of lights, especially phones lights, so we're going to do the same. To make the light in the background even brighter, we are going to add an effect called curves in the background. So, as you can see, this panel would appear here. So here, if we play here, we would change the highlights, here the shadows, and here the midtones. So we're going to decrease the highlights a little, and decrease the shadows a little again. So it gives us this little contrast here. It's very beautiful. Now, after that, we are going to add deep glow. You see, it's very beautiful. So we are going to decrease the exposure first 0.5 250 you have to keep playing with it until we get the best result decrease the exposure again see the difference very beautiful deep glow is a very amazing plugin so now we are going to add the rain and the flashlight so i have two overlays here the first is the rain overlay we're going to put it underneath the guy layer so first let's scale it up like this the watermark is hiding the overlay of the rain how are we going to fix that? we are going to fix it later, not now so first let's change the blending mode make it screen here we go nice, very nice and now we are going to add the flashlight overlay Let's scale this up. And let's change the blending mode. Make it screen. Now I've realized that the video is not dark enough. So we are going to do some color grading. So let's start with the guy. Let's add curves. Let's increase the highlights. And decrease the shadows this and now let's, let's add the deep load. the exposure like 0.5 maybe less 0.3 I think it's good it's enough let's decrease the radius much better now let's play with the curve of the background let's increase let's increase the highlights and decrease the shadows let's go back to the guy the reason uh, why the, uh, we have this bad lights here because the mask is perfect I left a lot of edges here so if you cut the picture correctly it would look so much better and now after we added 
the overlays of the rain and the flashlights after I rewatched the animation from Iman Gadzi, I noticed that his editors did not add a deep glow to the text, so we are going to delete it. If you if you notice, the flashlight is appearing also in the sky and in the sky, and this doesn't make any sense because there is no crowd in there, so we are going to reposition the overlay of the, of the light here, it's much better. If you notice, if you reposition it, this weird line will appear here. So instead of repositioning this overlay, so we are going to do a mask around the crowd like this, and then you will see how we're gonna, how we're gonna fix it. First, let's make a mask, it doesn't have to be perfect. Let's close it, and now let's increase the feather. See, so much better. And now, after we had fixed that problem, I think we finished the animation. So, I will leave you the final result.